don't need to put anything. Just make sure you're following, and uh, we will roll a winner. Make sure you, make sure you're listening. Let's get it. You don't want to be. You don't want to be on the end, especially of a free safety Calvin Johnson card that's going for one point six million coins right now. You exactly. don't want to do it. And you see, you you see which jersey he's wearing. The Kings of the North. You want what other the jerseys would he be? What other jerseys would he be wearing? The King. You see that jersey? I mean, it's doesn't that jersey look jersey. good? That it's is the only amazing. jersey that he only played for the Lions, books. Exactly. That's, you know why he only played for the Lions? Because it's the Ugh. greatest organization in the NFL. That's why. And how many Super Bowls have the Lions won? Don't matter. We talk. <laughs> we talk Super Bowls. That's what we talking about here. I mean, you said greatest organization, so I was just wondering. Yo, We're getting another a bunch gift of subscriptions. Uh, I, I'm I'm loving it. A lot of subs coming in here. Um, awesome, awesome job, guys. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Toberly, my guy with the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate you. So it looks like Shakobi started off with ball. Uh, I'm not exactly too sure. Well, this is actually the second quarter, so I'm, I don't know. Uh, it ends up throwing a, a wild pass there, but doesn't end up getting... Doesn't end up getting two feet in bounds. Yes, and zero and sixteen organization. You know what? We made it cool to go zero and sixteen. What are the Dolphins right now? What are they doing? Chat. They are perfectly okay with going zero and sixteen and getting blurred by forty five every game. <laughs> you know why? Because we made it cool. You can't tell me we ain't a cool organization. We made going zero and sixteen cool. We made it acceptable. I wish Twitter and Bugs was around when that happened because it would have been a sad season oh. for Bugs. Oh, bruh. If <laughs> if I if I was on Twitter, was definitely around. But if I was actually on Twitter at that time, yeah. Oh, but if man. Twitter was like, tw if Twitter was actually Twitter, yeah. Oh man, I would have been going nuts. Oh, I was, especially especially on that game where Dan Orlovsky ran out of the back of the end zone. Oh my god, I was so uh, hot. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that did happen. I forgot that that happened, man. And he has the nerve to have a job right now. He's out here doing some kind of. Uh, He's like a sports, you know, NFL analyst for one of these uh, sports networks. I can't remember if it's ESPN. I saw him somewhere. I was mad just seeing his okay. face. <laughs> just, just seeing his face. Did I'm like, how does dude get a job? Any dude that can walk out, run out of the back of the end zone the way he did doesn't deserve a job. Anyway, it looks like we got a winner. Slump Buster sixty nine has been following the channel. Has won the Megatron. Check your whispers. You do not want to miss this one. Oh, yeah, I most definitely, most definitely blame Matt Millen. Matt Millen, for sure. Actually, let's not even talk about this. I'm starting to get frustrated. <laughs> no, let's keep talking about this. I, I think this is a good subject. The chat is really engaged. I think we should, uh, I think we should keep going on. Um, Pistolas, if... In order to check if you, I'm just going to ignore Stiff. So, in order to check to see if you sub to my channel, to my Twitch, all you will have to do is just check through your emotes. If you see an emote that says like that's a Bugatti emblem with bugs on it, you've you've subscribed to me. If you see any salad plates, any green juice, uh, any um, what else? What am I? What else am I missing? What up, though? If you see, you know, stuff like that, lions color emotes, you probably, you probably sub to me. My guys like with, the, with the bugs Gale emotes. Gail Sears doesn't end up the getting cauliflower in, steak. I forgot about the cauliflower steak. You cannot forget the cauliflower steak. What is that? Wait, 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 wait. It's let's the glitchiest meal like, you'll ever have that. in your life. That's what it is. Like you just said that. Can I? Can I? What is cauliflower steak? Oh man, you live in Atlanta. I'm Stiff is me and Stiff are going on a cauliflower steak date. I uh, yeah, I think so. I think I need that. We're, we're, I'm gonna take you out to go get some cauliflower steak. You know. Okay. And you're gonna you're gonna vouch for me. You're 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 gonna uh, be my guy to come out I'm and gonna, tell the people. I'm gonna vouch for you. You're gonna I'm vouch for the okay. cauliflower steak. 
Okay. All right. I'm going to have to do that. I still don't know what it is exactly, but it's cauliflower. It, I, I don't know why we're out here. Is naming it actual it cauliflower is it actual steak? steak or? No, it's not actual steak. I'm not honestly, and all jokes aside, I'm not, I would never be a fan of naming, you know, Anything vegan foods in after um, traditional meals. However, uh -huh. that's what they call it. I'm fine with it. It's basically a big chunk of cauliflower, you know, seasoned and it tastes and it's uh -huh. grilled and it tastes just like steak. Really? Okay. Listen. They listen. they season they seasoned it well. It tastes just like steak. Axe Rockets. I I let him try it. He was like, "Whoa, it's kind of tastes like steak." <laughs> I like. All right. Well, where'd you guys try that? Uh, this is a little restaurant. Uh, we we were in Dallas. We were in Dallas. Uh, but it's called. It's in Atlanta as well. It's not too far from me. It's called. Um. Oh man, I can't even remember the name of the restaurant. Never mind. Oh, okay. to play low honey. To play low honey. That's what it's called. To to play low honey. Okay. All right. Play well, low honey. T u p e l o, honey. Okay. I like it. So uh, it looks like Shakobi gets on the board first. Three nothing. Joe Rice is going to get the ball. Uh, he has uh, Randy Moss returning the kickoffs, which I'm not sure the reason for that. Um, well, maybe you just put him in there for the because. Second half's almost over, but he, that's how you get your guy tired. Yes. Uh, yeah, honestly, this is a nice pro tip from my opinion, especially in salary cap. From my opinion, I think you always put a defensive guy as your return guy, not an, mm. off, not an offensive guy. Because just like Stiff just said, when you return the ball, your guy, it, it wears at their energy. It, it takes down their stamina. So because when you do returns, kick returns and punt returns, you're shifting, you're transitioning to offense. You don't want your offensive guys to come yeah, out red, exactly, exactly. You know, exactly, your first yep. play of of the possession. So I always typically opt for putting the defensive guy as my um, return guys, or yeah, or agree. if I have an offensive guy, I just um I just fair catch it every time. Yeah, exactly. I always actually always fair catch it unless they do the pooch kick, uh, like like what we normally always see like that. Um. Just because uh, the risk reward, I, I just don't think is there, uh, especially if you use a, a smaller or a lower speed guy at like eighty eight speed. Uh, the fumble chance is just way too, way too high, I think. Broken tackle, Gale. So we really haven't seen much offense out of Joe Rice's game uh, because we missed probably his first possession since Jacoby just got the ball. Interesting to see how Jacoby's defending against that Randy Moss. Ooh, the real flag. What do you think Steph? that is? Holding. Wow, is he unaggressive? Yeah, I mean, guys, that's this is how this is how guys are approaching. It. They're they're fully committed to running the ball right now. Shout out to my guy Ricky Bobby with the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate you. Get those sub pipes mm -hmm. in the chat for Ricky Bobby. The guys are committed. They're turning aggressive blocking on they're turning aggressive ball carrier and on guys are fully committed to toting that thing at all times Shout yeah to I can MT see that. gone with the twitch prime sub appreciate you boss Ooh, good read cam oak with the twitch prime sub sub pipes keep them sub pipes rolling Yo, the real question is, this Slum Buster, did he claim his Megatron? Because I feel like he doesn't want Megatron. Yeah, do we have Rockets. a little uh, update Check on the Slum Buster? Did, did Slump Buster claim this oh, Megatron? Oh, boy, Gale Sears is gone. Breaking another tackle. Shakobi is as Joe Rice's number. And then he swags Whoa. on him on his way yeah. to the end zone. He did claim chat, so we won't be re-rolling. Y'all no. know I'm a man of the people. I'm on, I'm on the side of the people. So the, if the people, you know, I, I want the people to succeed. You know, that's what, really the way that I operate, Steph. Mm-hmm. You know? So here we go. How will Joe Rice um, respond to this? Uh-oh, he's going to respond with a kickoff return, and that's why you get Randy Moss at kickoff return. So don't listen to Bugs. Don't listen to me. 
don't do it. Just just put, I guess, your fastest wide receiver or your offensive player a kickoff because that could happen. Yeah, uh, yeah. When it comes down to these situations, I mean, when you really, I, I, I'll do it. I'll do it in at the end of the game where where I need to make a play. However, I don't typically do it in the process, like in between the first quarter and let's say two minutes in the fourth quarter. Mm-hmm. It, yep. It'll take a while before I'm opting for that. Just because I, like I said, I don't like for my guy's energy to just burn out like that. Yeah. And actually, if you get hit sick too, you lose even more energy. Chat, cool, uh, get your grub hubs in the chat right now. My bad stiff. Get your grub hubs in the chat. We're going to give away another grub hub gift card. Oh, and we got Gail Sears. Wow. Nice move again from Jacoby. Is Lattimore going to get him? Yes, he is. A little surprising. Wow, he got caught. How fast is this? Not the full Gail Sears? What's really going on? Yeah, I don't think I've seen Gail on? Sears get caught from behind like that ever. Lattimore does not have 90 speed. I, I can tell you that right now. So let's Three see what Shafoldi does. Oh, Shakobi, I'm sorry. I get confused sometimes. He's going to have to take a time out here. Yep. Mm. He's going to have to take a time out. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. Do you, do you know why he took that time out? Looks like he was committed to getting Gil Sears back in the game and running the ball again. Gil Sears, right. no matter what, Gil Sears did not come back into the game. And so mm-hmm. he obviously does not want to pass the ball here because he just he just decided to just burn that time out. The entire time he was looking at the plate, looking at the number, if you notice, number 38 was at halfback the entire time. He was waiting for number mm-hmm. 40 to hit the backfield. Yeah. He never hit the backfield. I think you're right. Good call there. Uh, but he ends up getting hit stick the following play. Thankfully, he did not fumble for Jacoby. I think Jacoby is, I think he's playing this a little too passively. I think he needs to go for the throat right here. It's still the third quarter. He needs, I, I think he needs seven here. I think he got to step on the gas paddle. Uh, I, I, I don't think he always got to be wide open. He had B for a touchdown. Mm. The, uh, but oh, no, he threw it off his back foot. Yeah, he did. But being a backseat QB right now, you got to love it. Those are the best. That's what's so hard about this wing flex formation. It's it's a good running formation, but then you could also put corner routes on these on these on these uh, receivers, or they or they have stock corner outs, and mm-hmm. they just beat man, they just torch man. It's so frustrating to go up against this formation, especially if you're going up against this formation with like a Philip Rivers, because you can put a corner out on anybody. Then yeah, like that's the, He's got the thing about it. Great dot right wow. there by Shakovi. Wow, what was that Kittle George Kittle in the back of the end zone? Yep, yep, yes sir, yes sir. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. Go up. Still, now you're still safe. Two possessions. Third quarter is about to end, assuming you do not give up another kickoff return. Um, I don't know why he's not kicking it high. I mean, yeah, I offer kicking high. Him again. I just didn't get the stop right there. Yeah, I'm not sure why he isn't kicking the ball high to the the fullback. The tip is typically to the fullback. I don't know. Maybe he has Gail Sayers at that spot, and so he's afraid that he will just give Gail Sayers and good run. I like what he's doing with the. He's he's, he's using him, and then he's like kind of clicking off as soon as like the. Yeah, he's doing a very good job at stopping this run. I, I actually like what Jacoby's doing right now. Is he in the Storm Brave or is he in the cover one hole? No, nah, he's in the Storm Brave, it looks like. Um, but he's he's not even, he's taking Tillman, he's putting him all the way back there, right? So he's letting all those blockers get consumed. Oh, good user. Oh, he's got him wide open, though. Oh, wow, man. he missed he Moss. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought he was actually originally, I thought he was throwing the Moss, man, but he didn't. He was throwing to his running back. Wow. Uh, Miss Re right there by Joe Rice. That's the one thing. When you run the ball every play or, or just predominantly run the ball, you tend to miss reads. And the main reason why you tend to miss reads is because you're out of rhythm. Passing is all about rhythm. And, you know, it's I hard agree. to get into that rhythm when you're running the ball. I agree with that completely. He has two deep halves in the outside quarter. I'm not a fan of this uh, adjustments right here by safeties. I want to see him put that left safety in something to where the middle of the field is just open. Doesn't matter. Oh, Good, stop. Gets a stop. Good stop. All right, Jacoby in a very good position again. He's in field goal range now, so this is a time where I would actually be pa where I'd be passive. I'd run the ball three straight times, take up as much clock, and kick my three. Um, I'm up ten already, so I'm, I'd just go up thirteen. Yes, most definitely. I have you just run the ball three straight times. I take it, but you just you, you take up all this clock. Now, Shakobi, he needs to hike it under 240, which he will. And that means that he'll get the two-minute warning unless Joe Rice calls a timeout. And now that's going to either take into one of Joe Rice's timeouts or it's going to take 40 seconds off the clock. Uh, it's probably Joe Rice is probably going to call timeout, I'm going to assume. Got the cuddles play. was good. D Lo season, what's going on, boss? How you doing? Uh, this is the final semifinal game. After this game, we'll be in the finals. Assuming Jacoby holds on, it'll be Jacoby versus Clef in the finals. We'll have a toter versus a semi toter because Clef has been doing a little bit of toting. He's you know he's coming out in that yeah, I four tight with yeah, the receiver in the backfield. So for the most part. Clef is a dotter, so I'm going to put him in a dotter's category. He's just mixing in a little bit of the run heavy. Well, who prevails? Who do you guys like to win this tournament tonight? My guy, DeBron, with Twitch Prime, so appreciate you, homie. He's just going to take a timeout, probably one second remaining. That's what he does. Go up 13 points. Jacoby has, has actually had a number on Joe Rice. He beat him in uh, Friday Night Football a couple weeks ago in the finals. Uh, looking like he's going to beat him again today. Mm, Jacoby, the, the Joe Rice killer? I mean, from the games that I've seen. Is that possibly? What, his new name? The Joe Rice killer? Joe Rice stopper? <laughs> uh, again, the cap is 825. To, going to Moss. I don't agree with this, but it seems like it worked out that time. Gets him to the 23-yard line. See what Joe Rice comes out in. I mean, he's probably going to come out in the same formation that he's been coming out in. Not sure what's taking him so long to pick a formation. Gun bunch. Here we go. Joe Rice is going gun bunch. Probably was trying to get his depth chart in, 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 in order the best way. Look, he's got Gail Sayers all the way out, out, out right, Bugs. Hmm. Gail Sayers out right. Who was this at tight end? Who was Atkins? Atkins, he's a 10 cap. Is, does he right have any 10 cap. 73, maybe? Mm, that's not too bad for a 10 cap, I guess. This game is, is, is over. I don't, I don't see anything really. I mean, all you got to really do is look up Boss and, and Sayers, and, and that's it. Okay, well, watch out. Watch out for Jukebox. Okay, so he, he's, he's going out of bounds. Uh, not sure. I personally think uh, that Shakobi's making a huge mistake right here defensively. Time is your best mm -hmm. friend. You're up two possessions. Make him take as much time as possible. Blitzing heavy and giving up a possible big play just so you can get pressure isn't the wisest decision. I think what you do is you make it as hard as possible. Make them take underneath routes. Do not give up big plays, potential big plays. I mean, you're right, getting well, sacked, right so there. it worked out. But I, I think that could cost you. 
because he can end up in that same situation versus Clef, mm -hmm. give up a big play because he still has all three timeouts. So mm -hmm. let's say he gets a big play. 